Good morning, YouTube. Pastor David here. August 10th, 2011. Can you feel it? Can you feel it in the air? Can you feel the sense of urgency? Uh, that you know something, something bad is about to take place. It's so thick you can cut it with a knife. I've got my camo shirt on. I'm ready. I'm ready for what lies ahead. Uh, I'm clean shaven. And now I wish I would have left the beard. I might grow it back. But I'm going to sound the alarm today. There's a lot going on. And uh, But first, let me tell you, I have anointed my head with oil. And I have put water on my face. It's not to glorify me. I don't care if I get three views and one person watches and they come to the understanding that this is Bible prophecy. And we are in the end days and they come to salvation. That's why I'm here. I'm not here to shine uh, the spotlight on me. It's not about me. It's about our Heavenly Father and what is taking place around the world. I'm going to sound the alarm today because I want to bring you uh, what's going on. We've got North Korea uh, provoking South Korea. South Korea now has retaliated. We've got the um, uprising, the looting, the fires in London and surrounding areas. And where are the police? Where are they? Where are they? They're standing back. And I think they've been told to back off. And I think we're going to see martial law implemented. And will it spread to the United States? I believe it will. I believe that's what they want it to do. Um, with the United States losing its AAA credit rating and the co economy crashing here. We're watching the stock markets uh, going down and berserk. Um, they're hoping that uh, it escalates, that the fire uh, reaches the United States. And I think we're looking at martial law. And I think whether you believe in it or not, now maybe you're thinking about the FEMA camps um, and what lies ahead. I believe they want to see martial law in the United States. They want to see the United States is uh, in a financial uh, debt crisis. And what other what better way to usher in uh, a new world order and a one world government. I think we're about to see all of this. I think we're on the verge of World War III. A lot of things are taking place in the Middle East. More fish dust today and I'm really not going to cover that in um, uh, Vancouver and in Essex. And Before I go any further, dear friends, and it's not to frighten you, it's to awaken you. I'm going to sound the alarm. But before I sound the alarm, I just hope you have been following me. If you have been following my channel, I'm not trying to get a lot of views, but I'm bringing you truth. And I'm trying to keep you updated on current events as they pertain to Bible prophecy. And as Comet Elenin is in our orbit, and it's coming into alignment, and it's right around the corner, September's weeks away, all of Bible prophecy is coming into alignment with it. Um, if you've been following my videos going back go through them go back through I told you this summer I just felt it I knew I I knew we were going to be in for a heat wave uh, death due to heat uh, the heat index would be it would just be a, a terrible terrible heat across the, the United States and I didn't steer you wrong and I'm not steering you wrong now I told you scroll back in my videos and again this is not about me it's just so you understand um, I'm not steering you wrong in the wrong direction and I hope you pay attention because I am a watchman I told you I had a feeling the Lord laid it on my heart September something was gonna happen in September and we're right there remember we had the little lull in the action and I said it's the calm before the storm well now everything everything is is in a storm it's in a whirlwind now and you can feel it in the air before I go any further let me sound the alarm Alright friends, let me get you caught up to date real quick. I mean, not one single thing by itself is Bible prophecy. We've got to look at the whole picture. We've got this um, off the coast of Oregon. 
this volcanic eruption? That, what damage has it done to the sea floor? And I, I'm sure you've been following that, and I don't want to make a two-hour video. But everything is falling into place. Earthquakes today, um, a 4.9 in New Zealand, a 3.0 in the uh, Virgin Islands, a 3.0 in Puerto Rico, 3.0 in California. That's, uh, that's big for California. 3.2 in Puerto Rico again, a 4.7 Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a 5.7 in Pakistan. 5.7. Magnitude earthquake in Pakistan and uh, 4.8 Argentina, 4.1 uh, Baja, uh, California, Mexico, 4.8 in Japan. Japan, what lies ahead for Japan? We September is going to be very interesting as everything falls into place. 4.9 Easter Islands, 4.6 the Philippines, uh, 5.0. Um, South Sandwich Islands region, a 5.0 uh, China border region, 5.3 Fuji region, 4.3 in uh, Indonesia, 4.3 can you feel the tension, dear friends, and I'm not trying to steer you wrong, and it's not about views. And it's not about thumbs up or thumbs down. Somebody doesn't like me because every video I do is getting a thumbs down. I'm getting two, at least two or three, so it's probably just a couple of you don't like me. But I love you anyway, whether you like me or not, whether you believe me or not. I am bringing you uh, current events and news in the world as it pertains to Bible prophecy. Uh, South Korea, and, and you know, this alone, I'm not going to scream Bible prophecy. But it all plays together. The uh, South Korea's military said it fired artillery rounds in retaliation after hearing explosions coming from uh, the north near the county's uh, disputed sea border. So they're doing, and this is what they've done, what, a few months back. The same thing, and the south is retaliating. And let's look at what's going on in the United Kingdom. I'm not going to put a lot of attention on, on this because they're always fighting. They're always fighting and uh, over over that border. But I think we're headed for something big. And time will tell. The weeks will tell. Uh, what better way with the United States economy uh, in the shape it's in? Uh, we're going to see skyrocketing fuel prices. It's going to be um, impossible to buy food. We need to stock up now, um, and I think they're expecting us to follow suit. And only going to take one little spark. It takes one spark to ignite a flame. And this happened in in uh, London over uh, the killing of uh, the police killing this uh, gentleman, and it ignited. So, what's going to ignite here? What's going to be the spark here? And I think the powers that be maybe. Uh, striking striking the match flicking the lighter they want to create a spark it's all all fallen in place friends um, time to get right with your heavenly father it's time to accept Jesus as your lord and savior remember I told you I told you something something's coming and it's coming and it's almost here God bless everybody I love you